Ah. Hello. Ah. hello, hello, everyone. Uh, he Helen will be along. Uh, she's just told me that she she's uh, she's imminent. Um, uh, she's imminently here. We were just saying that it looks like Biden's going to win. Does it, does yeah. it feel, that, feel that way where you are, uh, Artie? It does, but I just wanted to say we should call this episode the mess they're in. <laughs> um, I, uh, <laughs> um, hold on a sec, here's Helen. Hi, Helen, how are you? Hi, I'm sorry, late. No worries, no problem. Can you, can you hear me? I can. Yeah. I hear, can hear you uh, crystal clear. And a lovely bit of sunlight shining on your on your I've lovely got, face, Helen. I've got a halo. Look, <laughs> um, we were we were just talking about how it looks like Biden's going to win um, in this in this hilariously close election. Like, <laughs> yeah. like, I mean, the 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 South Park episode of the shit sandwich versus the whatever it was be, it has never been truer. No. Do you know, I'm so happy though. I'm so happy. I mean, you know, like all of the people saying, oh my God, you're also right wing. It's such a right wing thing. GC is right wing. Like my whole feed is like, it's, it's anyone but the narcissistic psychopath. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but, but uh, you know, the, the, but, but then the Democrats are becoming the party for narcissistic sociopaths. It's like, do you vote, do you vote for the man who rapes women or the party who hate that, that hates women? Right. It's it's that's why it's close. <laughs> it's, a, um, it's, it's I'd take I'd take not Trump and then and then we'll see. Yeah, I think, I think yeah. is the answer. Yeah, yeah. I tell you another what what might be interesting to see is uh, the the way that the left went kind of insane in the last four years um, because they kind of uh, lost control to such an extent that they handed the keys. Of the White House to, a, to an actual, you know, uh, monster, um, and then they went insane and created their own kind of virtual reality where, where they say things like, uh, you know, announce their pronouns and stuff like that. Yes, I mean, I did. I, unfortunately, I didn't. I mean, last year, I last time I I watched all of the um, um, all of the debates because I desperately wanted Hillary, um, but this time I was like, eh. And I saw a few clips of Biden, and honestly, the the thing about you know what about anything I saw of a trans, he he was just he wasn't very good. But you know, but if I was American, I would totally hold my nose and vote for him, regardless. Obviously. Yeah, yeah. The um, uh, I noticed that uh, uh, Challoner, Amy Challoner, is now um, uh, or 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 someone associated with Amy Challoner. I'm not sure if it's Challoner or someone associated with Challoner is now attaching themselves to the Biden campaign. Um, they, weren't they weren't they part of the Warren? Oh no, no, that was a different. They were no, they, they were. were campaigning they were. for Warren. Unbelievably, they, they, unbelievably. So this is Chandler's political career. Uh, Greens, uh, then fired from Greens after a huge scandal. Lib Dems, Lib Dems uh, were a bit slow to uh, realize what was going on. Then got rid of got, got rid of her. Um, uh, then onto the Warren campaign in America. Uh, where she's hoping to marry a guy who is a who writes short stories about pedophilia and mind control, and now is working for Biden. <laughs> hey. Yeah, so it's a hell of a it's a hell of a her her say it and then let people come rather than uh, you know here's my yeah. email yes, full of content warning. I saw um, quite interestingly I a tweet where I had a content warning. It said CW. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I I was up. I once got CW Graham Lennon. <laughs> the very, the very thought of me. Yes, just me. Just the fact that I, it was about me had a content warning. Wow. It's very funny. I saw out there, there's a drop down list of the possible content warning categories, and one of them is Graham Lennon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Although I hear, you know that. Uh, I love that. I love that uh, fact about that. Um, there's a tool you can get for Chrome called, I think it's called Shinigami Eyes. And uh, what it does is uh, it, it, if you see a link, it tells you whether the link is transphobic or not. Right. <laughs> so, uh, but apparently if you sign up with Shinigami Eyes, you can go and you can say, no, this link's okay. This what this is fine. <laughs> so I think everyone should download Chimmy Gamey Eyes and just you know. Uh, but of course, it, yeah. but of course, the reference is from uh, anime because, as we all know, this is um, an attempt by incels to do a soft coup. 
<laughs> anyway, sorry, that's a, that's probably a deeper place than we want to go at the moment. Um, Helen, yes, I saw that you've been batting off the usual bearded men online who uh, are very angry that you keep asking them the question. <laughs> Very angry, very, very angry indeed. They did, they did try and get me banned this weekend um, with the most extraordinary, extraordinary show of um, what I can only describe as targeted harassment. Yes, um, yes. That a, a, an actor with a blue tick to couch said, can you, can you report her? Can you report this woman <laughs> for targeted harassment? Because yeah. I found, because I, I'd seen him um, laughing with another man about the number of times I've been forced to say the word penis, as in penis-free spaces for women and girls, please. It's not very much to ask for, but yeah. I do have to ask for it very, very frequently. Yeah. Um, and I saw them laughing over the amount of times I say, with the, oh, obsessed with penises. Um, and he was like, I'm a gay man and I don't tweet about dick that much. Yeah. Um, which I, I took a bridge to because I feel that men mocking women for having to just reiterate the fact that we need to be able to undress away from um, blokes yes. um, is, is, is just beyond the pale. So I then was alerted to the fact that this was the bloke that had offered nudes of himself for, <laughs> to, as an incentive for people to fill in the Scottish GRA consultation form. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, I felt I felt it was worth pointing out that on one hand, he was happy to send nudes. But on the other hand, God forbid, a woman says penis more than once a day. Yeah. But also the reason that you have to keep saying it is because none of these assholes will answer the question. They <laughs> do everything they can to avoid answering the question. So you have to keep asking it. I've been thinking about that this week, actually, because uh, in Ireland, there was um, a minor kerfuffle when uh, Rory O'Neill, who is a drag performer known as Panty Bliss, um, did this did did this thing that we see all the time, which is, it, you know, if lesbians were are being coerced into liking penis or or, or accepting trans women into, it, we'd know about it. Where are the receipts? You know, and of course, mm. he hundreds of receipts, hundreds, <laughs> hundreds of receipts, and he just ignores them. They did. They, they, yes. they, they just ignore them, you know. It's 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 why I'm beginning to uh, feel that the BBC is really, really failing in its remit by not having a, a grand national conversation about this phenomenon. You know? I think you're right. I think you're right because it is. You know, we have to carry because, on. Because with they can hide the same points, and people can say, "Well, what points?" Oh my yeah. God. This woman asking the same question. Why is she so obsessed with asking this question? Well, answer yeah. the second question, guys, and we wouldn't have to keep on asking it. Yeah. Um, but I did, but I noticed, and I think this is, I think it's a point worth making. Um, he got furious with me for, yeah. for, for putting this tweet out um, yes. and kept on saying, and it was really interesting because he, because he said nudes and I said nudes. But when I was saying nudes, he was accusing me of, of talking about um, cock as I think he put it on dick or something. Whereas I said, look, I, you've said nudes, I've said nudes, and nudes different when I say it. And he <laughs> said, well, you said penis. And I'm like, yes, as in penis free space, it was a different sentence. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah. but what was interesting, um, in this call to arms for his followers to report me, so many men just yeah. popped up and said, yes, yes, reported <laughs> Did you see the one I tweeted out yesterday? Some bloke had said, absolutely reported her. Hard. <laughs> <laughs> They're obsessed. They're obsessed, Helen. But um, <laughs> yeah. That's such a great sentence. <laughs> but, are, but I noticed... Uh, I noticed Report that, hard. I noticed, yeah. that, that, I noticed that actor David Paisley, who's going to spend many years living these uh, last few years down, uh, also did one of the uh, patented uh, Aoife Martin... Uh, I'm going to have to leave uh, for a while because uh, people keep talking to me and and saying things to me. You know, the the level of, of abuse, my God, if they receive yes. the level of abuse that J.K. Rowling has received or any of the women uh, we know uh, and support, they, you know, they, they burst into flames. But this it is... Was, it was interesting um, because yeah. I, I, I felt that because I am, I am I'm, you know, fairly polite but I'm not going to allow people to just take the piss without responding. It's a completely reasonable thing to do to respond. You know, this is Twitter. Twitter lives 
you know, its business model is tweeting, oh. retweeting, and quote tweeting. This, this, this is it. Um, it's, it's completely reasonable for me to quote tweet the truth here. Um, and and then, but then, for this, and I think I've made this point in in a tweet. For these men to say, "Oh my God, I I need some time for self care," he used that word. You know, I need to, to, some time for self care. Um, I you know, and he blocks everyone, blocks all dissent from women, and yeah. saying, "Oh, I need some time away from Twitter." So it's this idea that that he is, of course, allowed time away from whoever he chooses to have yeah. time away from, and it, of course, it is his choice, and that's completely yeah. fair. Point, but, yes. But but it, but this is but this is the same man who doesn't think that women and girls should have the same level of uh, right to privacy and comfort when they're actually getting undressed when they're literally naked in a confined space. Yeah. And it's just I don't think he can he sees it. I just don't think he he sees it. It's it's just women being unpleasant and nasty and and uh, I got a lot of charges of homophobia because I was arguing with. With him, who, who happens to be gay? Yeah, um, yeah. But Artie, anyway, Artie, but I, I did get a lot of people. Safe space at the moment with Helen. Okay. Here. Are you okay? Uh, I, well, I mean, I've always thought you were homophobic, Helen, yeah. but you know, <laughs> in the spirit of reaching out, I have been patient. <laughs> with you this whole time. I'm dead in a virtual yeah. environment. Well, mostly I just love how much you talk about Dick. So uh... <laughs> <laughs> she's a guilty pleasure. A guilty pleasure. <laughs> That's a yeah. perfect end to that little <laughs> But it's um it's similar to uh, uh the John Ronson thing um that, that I was talk telling you about where he will not answer any of my questions. It's it's it, it the the that their side let's call it a side because it's quite uniform. I don't think there's much difference between any of the people fighting uh, against us. Um, but their side really depends on a on on a series of uh, maneuvers, including ignoring you, uh, moving the goalposts. Uh, you know the the usual Darvo techniques. Um, Darvo stands for what's Darvo stand for again? Can anyone rattle it off? Deny, deny um, attack, reverse victim and victim offender. Victim and offender. Deny attack, reverse victim and offender, which is the thing you see most of the time. If we could get you know a proper conversation on on uh, the BBC, you know, which could be uh, um, properly uh, uh, hosted and and give people time to speak and. You know, I, I have no doubt that our arguments would win the day because their arguments are built on sand. They found this out with the Swedish documentary, The Trans Trade. There was um, I read about it, and someone said, someone said that uh, they would they came out with their usual statistics about suicide and all these things, and and they were asked where where, where are these statistics from, and and they could never they could never answer. They, they their answers were just as flimsy as anything. And that's what they're so frightened of. They're terrified of people. That's why Ado, uh, Ado Comerford, sorry to mention his name, but uh, Ado will never appear on screen, um, uh, you know, defending any of these positions because he knows they're silly, <laughs> you know? Yes, I think, I think he'd have to bring up Nicole Maines. <laughs> who's, who's Nicole Maines? Well, oh, I, I, the, I, the book he read. <laughs> Is yes. that the book he read? Yes. Right, he read one book, and now he's like, he's like, uh, you know, all women. Why haven't you read this book? <laughs> haven't you read this book? Why haven't you read this book? You need to talk to me about this book because I've read this book. Haven't you done your research? Why haven't you read the book? <laughs> Is this some like self-published nonsense book? Is it a nothing burger? I don't know. I've, I've never heard of it. I've read a lot of literature about this issue, and I've never heard of Nicole Maines in my life. So yeah. I don't know. I would imagine it appeals to the emotions somewhat. I don't know. <laughs> that, that's just what what uh, what I what I uh, picture. But you know, one book does not uh, mean that you have to chuck uh, women's rights in the, in the fucking bin. Um, you know, it's just hilarious. No, because of course, because a happy medium, of course, could be found. You know, I was thinking, like like you were saying, if I if you know, it might be interesting at some point to have maybe a mock debate where you have somebody. Trying to oh, that's a great idea. Come, up, come up, come up with the with the, the sort of the best, the most charitable version of the other side's arguments. Um, We've because, got to do that. We've got to do that because there are, aren't there? There are arguments that you know th there are things that you can say, um, and and then and I think 
Um, it might be, it might be interesting to see that can we can we reach a compromise? Can, can we reach a compromise on this? Because uh, it should be. That would be that would be so interesting. How I wonder who could be the other side. No, I'll bet you every one of us wants. I'll that take it. To be I'll the take <laughs> Helen, you could you take the other side? I take the other side. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we'll have to prepare for it. We'll have to prepare for it. It's probably the yeah. best that you do because if if it was one of us, we'd show up like you know with lipstick on and a bad wig and go <laughs> all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe it would be maybe a bit offensive, but uh, well, that's an interesting I, idea. Maybe we'll have, be, we yeah. eventually have to because they won't speak. They won't speak in, <laughs> in good faith with us, you know. So it's uh, yes, it's crazy. But it has been it's been getting to me a little bit recently because I just kind of thought, you know, Rory O'Neill is a brilliant example. It's just it's just so so dishonest and he's seen you know he's seen the receipts now we know he's seen said nothing since the, that was a bombardment of receipts and then there was a second wave of people saying look you've seen the receipts and you're not even responding so it's kind yeah. of like two news cycles and he still hasn't said anything no no i believe he's not. Gone I'm, dark. I'm not sure you know and he said things like uh one one reddit post from a teenager doesn't count so he was sent uh the the editor of pink news saying it he was sent um uh, you know, uh, Morgan Page's um, Stonewall, uh, uh, Mor sorry, Morgan Page's um, uh, Overcoming the Cotton Ceiling seminar. I mean, can you get any better yeah. than that? That's just, he's a Stonewall leader, and he did a, a, a thing called Overcoming the Cotton Ceiling. Yes, and, and with that, you'd think, I mean, that was a while ago, but you'd think, you know, if, if they didn't want that to keep on coming up, that they should say, actually, no, this was completely wrong. I, I apologize for this. This is in no way should we be doing this sort of thing. But I've not seen, I've not seen that. Um, well, I, I, the exactly. problem, I think there's a deeper problem um, than all this, which is that all of these people have dumped friends, dumped family members, um, written off people as bigots who they were close to. Uh, and they're going to have to apologize. And I think that that's what the, that's the hardest, going to be the hardest thing for them. You know, they're going to have to ring up people who they just cut out of their social circles. <laughs> they, they, they are, they are. This is my fantasy, of course, as well. Yes, I was going to say, this is when lying in bed at night, furiously making a list of all these people who need to rig you up. <laughs> yeah, yes, but but it is true. They are going to have to. They they are going to have to do that. Like J.K. Rowling is is owed an apology from from the world for for so many what she's been the through. Actors, the, the actors that she, you know, that she. The actors, gave, yeah, yeah, gave life to. Yeah, they should. I I would be very happy if they never worked again. I think they they are absolutely the most contemptible people in the world. I was thinking about this last night actually. The the to 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 be made famous because. You were lucky enough that uh, that an actual you were lucky enough that a, that a, that a good actor had the mumps on the day of the call, you know, <laughs> and they went in and you know what's his name the red haired one, his entire acting career is based on going like that at everything everything, and <laughs> and and he turns he turns on her as well. They, they're they're contemptible people. They really are. But anyway, sorry, I'm not really giving anywhere for this conversation to go. <laughs> well, it's a sign of how bad things, like how people are just completely on the left, incapable of resisting this. I think a lot of these people who are even speaking up know that they're not 100% on board with it, but everything's just so messed up on the left right now. It's just so messed up. And it's going to take a lot of work to, to unpack it. You know, I've been yeah. saying for over a year now about how we're waiting for the have you no shame moment for the sort of collective cloud to evaporate but in honest i'm starting to think it's not going to be like that at all it's going to be more like the slow chipping away at scientology where they just core just won't stop and you have to just you know it's a yeah. decade long and and at some point people will be like no what no i never i never believed that no no yeah. I, mean, I always knew that it was something i think i think rather than a, a mere culpa it will be maybe a sort of a slow silence followed by a what yeah. no no, but no, there really no, does no. have to be a public by a mass deletion of all your tweets. Yeah, yeah. there yeah, has yeah. to be a public discussion. The Sweden thing is so heartening to me. The fact that everybody, you know, the public all came together and discussed it openly and treated it like it was a national issue that had to be discussed. Um, and immediately, once that happened, they did not have a leg to stand on. 
And I'm hoping something like that happens in Canada. We have a, a bill that's being passed and a lot of people are coming together to submit briefs to the government mm -hmm. to change the wording of this bill uh, to neuter it because it's basically going to force clinicians to stay away from any child who experiences dysphoria and just open up the road for them all to receive uh, sex change surgeries. And this is really scary to me because it's really gay people this is happening to. And today is a nice little segue onto some fool on Twitter uh, and some of their supporters announced that Oscar Wilde was obviously a trans woman, you know, <laughs> uh, because she was gender nonconforming, you know, uh, yeah, and yeah, I thought yeah. that sounds so ridiculous. And everybody piled on this absolute idiot with an anime avatar. But uh, the idea is it's true, though. I think in this day and age, if Oscar Wilde had been born and coming of age today, he would have been clearly effete and effeminate uh, as a young person. And he would have been pegged as a transsexual and he would have been given a sex change and a vaginoplasty. And we would never have had, uh, you know, this gay icon. We would have had a straight woman just, you know. I saw, I saw nothing a, wrong with being a straight woman. I don't mean it that way. Sorry, <laughs> Helen, but, <laughs> but you know what I mean. I saw a guy, I saw a guy. Oh, no, <laughs> no, honestly, it's not even a Graham, isn't it? Graham's in it twice, you know, it was. <laughs> well, you know, what I mean, that like he, he, the fact that he was gay was a big part of his identity and who he was. Yes, well, he wasn't entirely gay, but uh, yeah. And we lost that. We would have lost that. Yeah. I saw a guy walking down the street uh, just outside uh, where I live, and, and um, he was uh, looked like a 16 year old guy, and he was with, with his mom, right? I could tell it was more than his mom. I don't know how, but I could. Um, and he was walking along, and he had his hand up like this as he was walking, <laughs> right? And he was kind of, you know, he was kind of holding forth in a slightly camp way. And I thought, the first thing I thought was, cool guy, cool mom, you know? <laughs> Because 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 he has obviously grown up with effeminate, um, uh, you know, uh, uh, what what you uh, characteristics, and his his mom has obviously never questioned it, never questioned, never said, oh, maybe you should be a woman, you know. And I thought it was really lovely because I thought he was at the exact age where if he'd had the wrong mom, if he'd had the wrong mom, he could have been, you know, damaged for life. You know, so you know, but the but the transient of people in history. I saw Joan of Arc. They're not getting Joan of Arc. She's my favorite. She's my favorite historical figure. They're not getting mm. her. Wow. <laughs> you know, Joan of Arc. Come on, get let women have one thing. You no, know what I mean? no, no. We can't. We 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 can't. Um, I was thinking about this. Um, I, I, out on my run yesterday, that um, you know, this this sort of this spat with um Paisley. And he got, you know, he was so furious and then so angry and and then trying to call his, call, you know, call his mob on me. And I was wondering whether it was because um, it's it's very different in a, in a virtual environment, isn't, isn't it? Men can't use their physical attributes, their, their size, their presence, their deep voices to, to talk over. Twitter is a medium where you, you write a tweet and somebody responds. You know, you can't just talk over somebody. I mean, you can try sort of yeah. giving sort of 10, 10 tweets, but, but the, somebody can just respond to the first one. And, and I do wonder whether there's a, there's a huge amount of anger and frustration here because the, 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 um, the capabilities that they've had up until now, Twitter has sort of d destroyed that, has, has given, uh, it's a much more level playing field. And I yeah. think, you know, the whole, the whole lockdown thing has also done this to a large extent. Um, I think you know, in a in a working environment, you're much more on a on a par with people now because you know you haven't got your corner office. You're just you know you're just in your house on on Zoom. Um, people, it's it's much harder I think to talk over people in Zoom. Although I'm pretty good at it in this forum, I think. That's enough out of uh, Helen. <laughs> um, anyway, sorry, Artie. What were you saying? What were you saying? A very important thing. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Helen. I couldn't no, resist. The funniest, thing, the funniest thing was, is I was there thinking, who's left? <laughs> <laughs> no, you're you're absolutely right. I think that's a very good. I think that's. Uh, I think that's absolutely true. And I think that it's interesting that Eva Martin uh, and both Eva Martin and Paisley, they've had to use this. Uh, they've had to use the most dishonest form of manipulation, which is, 
I'm I'm feeling a little I'd have to go now because I'm because you know because as if they're these wallflowers and you know neither are wallflowers you know no. <laughs> And that's why I'm so surprised at it because I would have thought that um, you know I would I, I would find that really quite um, a humiliating thing to have to say out loud. Um, yeah. I, I'm having difficulty with this argument because it isn't going very well for me. So <laughs> I'm I'm going to leave for a bit. And can I, you all just do some reporting, please? Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, yeah. it's a bit. Well, they're they they are they are. Oh, yes. They're cowards. They're cowards. They're terrible cowards. But we know all this. Anyway, sorry. I, what, is there, what else has been happening this week? Anything else interesting happening? Poland, Poland and oh the, yes, Poland and the erasure of what's happening to who in Poland? Oh, I it's unbelievable! Amnesty become, International. My uh, God, incredible. Um, incredible. Um, I mean, yeah. it's, it's happening for more than Poland, but Poland is, you know, it's. The, Poland is one of the extraordinarily egregious examples of it because we this is the women's strike. It's the women's strike because it's women. It's women's reproductive health and freedom mm -hmm. um, and lives. And to say we stand with the people of Poland, but we don't stand with the people who are trying to take this away from these people. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And and it's and it's just incredible. Also, the, I think that the, the images were interesting. You know, extremely obviously women, the, the, the one that Amnesty retweeted, they're obviously women with yeah. you know, long hair and nail varnish. And, um, but also, as somebody was pointing out, with, with no eyes or, or job, quiet mouth, but you know, so you kind of without actually being able to express themselves, but mm -hmm. you couldn't say the word, they wouldn't say the word. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, it's just so terrible. Here's the other thing. I feel I feel very uh, I feel such a mixture of things because one of the things that I did during the abortion referendum in Ireland was um, my 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 wife and I uh, we we told our story of when we uh, had to have a procedure done because our our child had something called the crania which which meant that the child wouldn't be born would be born without a without a fully formed skull um, and it was a very painful and upsetting thing to talk about and we travelled around Ireland with calm. O'Gorman, who's the head of Amnesty in Ireland, you know, uh, going and speaking to different people, and it was very emotional, and it was it was, uh, and the video we did was very powerful, you know. And then I remember one of the things that got me angriest, earliest, was when uh, the referendum passed um, in our favour, and uh, Amnesty International tweeted a huge victory for pregnant people, you know. And I, and I thought, oh, my God, like we've had 100 years of abuse from the Catholic Church. And then Amnesty, Ar Amnesty Ireland takes away that victory from Irish women and just gives it to the people. You know, people. yes, it, it was just it was just the most. And Carl McGorman then went on to say something like to call me something like a comedy writer in a disparaging way. You know, he, he, well, I'm he sorry. I'm sorry that happened to you, Greg. I'm, I'm sorry about the whole thing, and I'm terribly sorry that 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 you know your wife didn't get that respect from them that that yeah. she deserved. That it's it's women, yeah, it, it's women. Absolutely, and in this case, it's exclusively it's because it's it's women. It's because it's women who get pregnant. Yes. it's women. Yes. Qua, I love using that really pretentious academic word, qua, but it's women. Qua women is why abortion is illegal. If men but, uh, got pregnant. Uh, there be no. Are you kidding? A man's body's taken over for nine months. He can't go <laughs> drinking with his buddies for nine months. Uh-uh. Yeah, yeah. You know, like so. This is a women's issue. It's, it really is. It's you know a lot of these sort of trying to be inclusive in language arguments. Uh, I can't stand any of them. But those were among the last things that I sort of came to our side on because I thought inclusion was a small, um, a small thing to do to seem inclusive was sort of my attitude. It took me a long time to realize that wasn't right. But when it comes to abortion. No fucking way. This is yeah. a women's issue, and it's exclusively about women and women's rights. But the, th the thing that really kind of upset me about this particular, about Amnesty's behavior on this particular thing was because the uh, Polish uh, laws were going to ban even the procedure that my, that my wife had. You know, they were even going to ban that. Yes. And, and, so, and so this was, this was very much about, um, this was a, an emergency, a real emergency. And then for Amnesty to muddy the waters and to send out confusing messages that are 
that you know how can how can an organization that's set up to help political prisoners how can they protect anyone if they can't name I, them i don't you know? know i don't i i i'm genuinely shocked at 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 amnesty i mean maybe i'm naive to be shocked but i i really am i'm i'm really shocked at everyone who's tweeting out about pregnant people here uh, about Poland. Now I've seen that this is this seems to have, have become massive, almost exponential over the last even the last sort of two or three weeks with menstruators, people who bleed, and what did I say yesterday? Vulva havers for vulva havers, yeah. It ramped um, up. But I, I was thinking that some of these must be just parody accounts. I, I I did think that these this this must just be people sort of taking the piss a bit. But honestly, when you look into them, I don't. Most of them weren't, um, yeah. and then honesty obviously isn't. Yeah. Um, yeah. And to, to to see that, and then to see the bloody backlash over it. You know, I saw that Janice Turner had tweeted over it, um, and then I saw that Paisley had tweeted Janice Turner saying, "Oh, you know," he said. Oh, you only care about Poland, something like um, because of this uh, this issue. <laughs> You've never tweeted about Poland before, so he's he's obviously gone and you know done done a search. And somebody said, "Well, neither have you." And he said, "No, I, ret I retweeted somebody back in February." <laughs> I don't know. They are. I'll tell you. There's also uh, uh, like uh, the. Uh, uh, let me get onto another bunch of my least favorite people who, who I call the woke women of stand-up. Uh, Sarah Pascoe and Ashling B and Carrie Ad Lloyd. Carrie Ad Lloyd especially. W one of the times I got into trouble early on was because Carrie Ad Lloyd was part of a uh, period poverty campaign and she called women bleeders in it, right? And uh, I felt bad about it because I thought the tweet was actually coming from the campaign itself, but it was coming from her personal account. And she wrote something like, oh, I just, you know, I just used a throwaway funny, uh, a funny word, you know, it was just a joke or whatever, you know. But I think she was lying because we know very, very well that one of the main um, uh, aims of this movement is to replace all these words. And we know as well that they don't replace words for men. They just replace words for women. Yes. Why are women's women's issues, women's bodies, women's reality, why is that always the target? You know? And when Carrie Carriad Lloyd said this, I believe she was lying because I think she was instructed to say it. You know, because I think I could be wrong, but I think the period poverty charity she works for is really infiltrated by uh trans women. You know, I think Monroe Bergdorf is in there and stuff like that. You know, I'd have to check it up. But um, but but the same similar thing happened to me when uh, Mary, what's her name, Mary Black, Mary, um, not Mary Black, Mary, yeah, Mary Black, uh, the, yes. Scottish, the Scottish uh, politician. She she uh, did a video where she called women who want sex segregated spaces the c word. Basically, she used the word phrase uh, Jeremy Hunt's. Uh, you know, so she was calling women who vulnerable, who might have been raped. And I do. I remember that. I remember that. Called them, uh, called them the c word, and and I I texted Ashley B about it, and I said, and I said, why are you retweeting this? She's calling women who who want um, who need private spaces um, the c word, and she said, oh, I just like the way she speaks, and never and didn't delete the tweet as far as I know, you know. But these people are lying, you know, women like this, they, they are lying and they can't face the reality of what they're doing. Because when you present them with the reality of what they're doing, they they just say it's something else. You know, it was a joke. Yes. I just like the way she well, speaks. It's so dishonest. It's so dishonest. And another reason why the BBC needs to have that debate. So they can't just so they I, can't I, keep escaping down these holes, you know. I do think I do I do think that you're you're right, Graham, about a, a sort of a national honest conversation. Um, I think is probably and well, it's obviously it's well it's well overdue. Because um again, you know, it's like I say to people who like who will answer the question, like the bloke who said oh, I've reported her hard. Um I said to him, Okay, well, why don't you answer the question? Of course, he completely ignored it, couldn't answer it. But, yeah. you know, occasionally somebody will answer the question and they will say, yes, I do believe this. You know, I, I do believe that, um, you know, the, the ma males with a penis should be allowed to because they, they're women. Um, and I, 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 I welcome that. I think you say it, that's good. And then we can actually talk about it. We can't pretend that it isn't happening. This is what you want. 
So now let's talk about the action. Let's talk about that because yeah. I've I've seem to spend half of my time battling against people who say nobody's asking for this, nobody wants this. Yeah. Um, well, way more than half my time because virtually nobody will answer the question. But the very occasional person that does, I think, is is it's it's important. It's like I didn't want to get Paisley banned from Twitter. I mean, I was very happy that people had reported him because I think that Twitter needs to know if somebody's being mass reported, it's because somebody's asked for it. So I yes. think I think that's that's fair. Um, but I don't want him to be banned. I want people to see these arguments. I want people to see these men saying these things and other men supporting them, just openly supporting them. Um, I think it's incredibly important. I think we need far, far more light shone on it um, to so that we can actually say, all right, well, now let's take these arguments apart. Let's take these points apart one by one. And we're moving backwards because Jenny Murray had to leave Woman's Hour because she wanted to talk about this. And they fired her. They got rid of her, you know, or they made it so... They made it impossible for her to continue, you know. I mean, it's 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 there, there's a real the BBC, like everyone else, is under a spell, and the spell needs to be broken, you know. It's well, um, at, at least well, at least we can talk about it here. I mean, yeah. you know, we, we can we can talk about it now. Obviously, it's it's people who care and a few haters who, who like <laughs> to uh, who like to see. Like <laughs> to <talk> <laughs> <laughs> like oh, what? I don't take any notice of him. However, if you look at um, <laughs> minute thirty-eight and twenty-seven seconds on video five, he says this. <laughs> <laughs> I can't imagine any of our haters are still watching because, like, no. at some point they must their their um, armor must crack under all of this reasonable. No, at some point they must be like, oh, you know? look at them! They're so great. They're so lovely. <laughs> look. Yeah. We're so charming. We're so fun. As, as my mother often says, who could not like me? You know, who could not... <laughs> she doesn't say penis that much. <laughs> um, and uh, this guy in Wellingborough, have you heard about this guy? Uh, what's his name? Sorry, just as a, uh, uh, let's just see what his name is. What's his name? Oh, it's great. It's Chloe Walker. Have you heard about Chloe Walker? Have no, you... I don't think so. It's another brilliant example. I'm going to get a screenshot so I can show you a photograph of him. Um, but it's another brilliant example of, uh, oh God, for some reason this cuts off his face. It's another brilliant example of a newspaper, um, of um, of the news going along with the most insane uh, uh, version of uh, misgendering. They don't want to misgender him. So it's, oh, fuck off ads by Google. How do I get rid of it? <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> Go away! Ads by Google. Why this ad? I don't care why this ad. Oh anyway, look, I'll I'll, I'll show you with the with the ad with the ad thing. Hold on a second. Um well, hang on, it depends what it's advertising, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> you know, my son, uh my son uh uh uh, writes in things that he's not interested in online. So he gets he gets he like he does he always writes in stuff pretending that he's old. So he gets lots of ads for uh, meet meet fifty year olds in your area <laughs> and and face cream and stuff. He thinks it's hilarious. So look, this is him. This is uh, this is Miss Chloe Walker. Gosh. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I mean? <laughs> and, and look, she also admitted two counts of failing to comply. And then my favorite bit. Let me see if if they did it in this. Uh, Yes. Oh no, no, no. They didn't. They did it. They did it. They did it somewhere else. They called them Miss Walker. <laughs> you know. And it's like, what is going on? Why is the press playing along with this? Why isn't the press? I don't. I don't know. I don't. I. I genuinely don't understand the. Um. Somebody. I. Do. Do they in the newsroom say? Look, I'm not saying this. I'm not. I. I. I don't have. I've got too much integrity to put this down. Or is it, you know, do they like, well, you can't, we, we're not going to put your story. We're not going to give you the byline then if, if I, you don't I, say. I, I, wonder I think it have, must be that. I wonder if they have the big picture up there uh, along with the along with the crazy, uh, uh, what I would consider misgendering. Um, uh, because, I mean, maybe partly it's because they're saying, look at, look at this, look at this insanity we have to go along with because of IPSO guidelines. Although I believe there's a few calls to IPS to Ipso to um, uh, to change things, I'm hoping that I can't remember who's 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 doing that, but I'm hoping that will. Uh, I, I do think it, I do think it's the guidelines, isn't it? That if somebody you know that they have to use the pronouns that the people identify with. 
I yeah. think. I mean, it's an, obviously an insane guideline because it makes makes stories really confusing. I mean, make stories look like fake news. I don't, yeah. you know, it, 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 people just think, well, uh, what, what is this story? That's not a woman. Uh, yeah, exactly. And, uh, you, you, and I think the fake news thing is very important because there's another reason Trump won four years ago, you know, because people have stopped trusting the media because the media is uh, lying to them. And in that, in that news story, they're quite clearly lying to them. They're presenting two realities at the same time and saying that both are true. And that's not possible. It's just not yes. possible. Also, uh, I, I think there was something in that. Yeah. And he's a sexual predator, of course, you know. So mm -hmm. I, I interviewed Kate Coleman last week. Uh, uh, thanks again, Ernie, for your wonderful editing job. Um, uh, and uh, um, and she said that, yeah, these 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 crimes are being placed, put down as, uh, as, as female crimes. My favorite statistic from the whole interview was she said that uh, there was one trans person who was arrested, trans, trans, a trans identified male who was arrested for attempted murder and it was listed as a female crime. And as a result, the statistics for female crime, attempted murders, went up 20% because of that one person. That's how few attempted murders <laughs> women are arrested. Yes. You know? But of course, yeah. we, I mean, we, we, we know this. I've, um, I mean, I think I've said this before, but I've got, I've got a thread which every time I share it gets more and more additions to the end of it, which is um, how old were you when you were first, uh, when somebody first exposed their genitalia to you in a, you know, in an unwanted situation yeah. and what was the sex of the perpetrator? And, yeah. you know, it is sort of 99.9% .9 male and shockingly young as well. You know, it's sort of from four, yeah. you know, the sort of average is about like 12 or so. It's yeah. awful. And every time I share it, I get more and more, um, I just get more and more people saying, you know, 10 male, seven male. Um, yeah. And I've taken to sharing this now when when people when when people sort of say, oh, well, like somebody said, oh, what about Rose West? Or what about sort of so-and-so person? Oh, for God's sake. I, I mean, think... it's just a stupid, stupid argument. And then you've just, you've just said, look, you know, all the, the mocking about the penis. I said, you know, do you want to, do you want to tell these women's younger selves that, you know, to stop talking about penises? You know, yeah. they they wouldn't have even understood the word. They wouldn't have known, you know, most wouldn't have known what the hell was going on at that point until yeah. suddenly some bloke comes along and shows them his cock un unwantedly. Um, so I've taken to sharing this to 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 say, say to people, have a look, go on, just read down, read down this list. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. And then and then, of course, unfortunately, every time I do and somebody sees it, they add to the end and it just it keeps on going on, on and on and on. And it's it's shocking. It's yeah. absolutely shocking. I'll tweet it out after this so that so that people can have a read. Um, and it is shocking. It, it's it's again, it's it's uh, another, uh, you know, sign of their complete lack of dishonesty integrity. dishonesty and integrity yes absolutely yeah. uh, people like david paisley and and comerford pretend that this doesn't happen they are they're despicable in my eyes you know i really i really do um dislike them. <laughs> um yes but i think it's that that kind of that kind of man i think um for me is 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 the sort of they're they're the ones that i really want to go after and and show and, and to expose to to you know how, how, as many people as I can that this is what they're arguing for and this is how dishonestly they're arguing for it you know they're not answering the question they're not you know they're they're dishonestly laughing mocking women for their fear of sexual violence it's that that really really makes me want to go after them it's the mocking and belittling yeah, of, yeah, of yeah. women they think yeah. it's funny they think it's funny to say oh she's obsessed by penises oh look penises oh god can't you help thinking about penises you know no fucking no I, because men have made certain of this that women yeah. can't stop yeah. thinking about penises christ i wish we bloody could you know we don't <laughs> want to see them guys <laughs> get it out of the yeah. way i don't yeah, want to yeah. see it i don't want to think about it but i have to I and mocking me for it is not going to make me stop. It's going to make me redouble my efforts. And it's another. Um, it's another. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but it, but also, sorry, Ardy, I'm 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 aware that I'm talking a lot at the, at the moment. No, but but, but I, uh, you know, that guy I just showed you the photograph of is a very young guy, and he's a sexual predator. Uh, children are involved, you know. So mm -hmm. so and and I've noticed that um, sexual that pedophiles are getting younger. 
you see you see their their images in newspapers and stuff and they're, they're young guys and it's because they're all kind of falling down a rabbit hole online of Porn. pornography yeah, yeah where they're becoming you know desensitized to the to the regular stuff and they're getting they're going deeper and deeper and deeper and they're finding stuff that feels um uh, I guess it feels, uh, you know, uh, what's the word? Um, but does it know. just make them feel anything because they're desensitized well, yeah. to, the, to the soft stuff? Yeah. So, so this conversation, this question that you keep asking, Helen, is is not beside the point at all. It is becoming more and more urgent because of the effect that porn is having on these young men. You know. But anyway, anyway. So, listen. Is uh, anything else happening interesting in the world before we we're we're forty five minutes in, so we've got a few more minutes for Ardy to say something. <laughs> uh, I have no. I, I just wanted to talk about the Oscar Wilde thing, I guess, and. I yeah. mean, let's all hope that Biden, um, I mean, it's so unfortunate that the Democrats have really uh, been terrible, too. Um, yeah. But I think it's obvious yes. that these are different orders of magnitude of terrible. Yes, um, But Definitely. I think some people are just so frustrated they don't see it that way anymore. And that disappoints me a little bit that even our side is sort of breaking off a little bit. And there are some people saying, no, I don't see any difference anymore. And that's oh, it's unfortunate. A huge, it's yeah. a huge failure that it's, that it's close. It's a huge failure that it's close. How could it be close? This man played golf for every weekend. He he, he left work early so he could play golf every weekend. You know? I, I think yeah. Biden. I think Biden is gonna is gonna clinch it. I yeah. mean, yeah. we're still we're still where we were, but I mean, the, but the odds are going up and up in Biden's favour. I think. I think, the, I think he's, I think he's going to clinch it. The mailing. Really, oh God, I hope so. The but mailing this should have been a cakewalk, and it's it's a. It should have been. I mean, and I mean, I was always wary of how much all this, all this sort of overly woke talk is really alienating the general public, who perhaps obviously don't care about it as much as us ivory tower folk do. But um, maybe they just they don't care one way or the other. They're not as invested as all these young woke people are, but they're not as alienated by it was my thought. But I'm seeing that's probably not the case. Look at the the increase in turnout of the uh, or in, in support for Trump among Latinos. <laughs> it's like yes. somebody quoted like the Latin X population voted for Biden, but the Latino poppy and Latina population voted for, <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah, for, yeah. for Trump. Yeah. Well, um, there was there's that there was that thing that happened last. I think it was last year. They found out that LGBT support amongst young people was actually going down, mm -hmm. and and I wouldn't I I. I presume that people are still uh, as uh, uh, accepting towards LGBT people as they always were, but they must be put off by this uh, hysterical form of activism coming from I would straight, have thought so. Coming from I mean, straight, we are. straight people I mean, who shouldered their way into the LGBT uh, community, you know? And I it's mean, just crazy. To be young right now with all the teachers just constantly haranguing you about it and like all the very woke students being crazy about it. I think there is a huge number of young people who are like, this is crazy. Who are becoming, yeah. I don't know what you call it, who are sort of going rogue and saying, no, I can see that this is bad. But yes. a lot of those people are being drawn to the right because they're not seeing any, um, you know, they're not seeing you know, any, any place honestly, for them honestly, within the left. And that scares me. I, I, you know? I, I think that's true. Because I saw I saw a few people saying, um, tweeting the, uh, the when it was the, um, the debates, tweeting saying, oh, we, we should ask the standing hand question, ask the standing hand question. And I was thinking for the first time, I really, really wouldn't want that question asked because Trump would say, no, of course they shouldn't. And Biden would probably say, uh, I can't answer it. And yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I wouldn't, want, wouldn't want to be responsible for that. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was like, no, 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 it, no, no. It, 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 it does surprise me it hasn't been used more as a wedge issue. I mean, I would have thought the conservatives would just, the conservatives could destroy the Lib Dems and Labour and the Greens by just by just going into the implications of all this stuff, you know, they, they could destroy them, you know. And I'm surprised it wasn't more of an issue. I noticed that Ariel Scar, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm sorry, Ariel, I don't know how to pronounce your name, but I know noticed she did an ad for Trump, which I thought was very depressing, you know, because it's like, you know, but but that again, that just goes to show how how these people are alienating ordinary uh, lesbians and, and gay men, you know. It's yes, just... I, I think I think I find the most incredible accusation is um oh look it's you your side your side is so so right wing look what you're doing and yeah. you're like you know you could stop this you could stop this by simply not demanding that 
any bloke that says he's a woman can get into the changing rooms. It's yeah. actually down to you. Don't yeah. you know? Don't blame the reaction. Yeah, it's, yeah, 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 Stop yeah. asking. Stop being mad. Stop forcing it. Try, stop trying to force it because yeah, yeah. it's it, it, it's just it's it's the divisive thing, not the reaction. Yeah, yeah. No, absolutely. Ah, uh, anyway, that's a nice low-key way to end it. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us a joke, Graham. <laughs> oh, I don't, I, don't, I don't know any jokes. I don't think I know any jokes. Although I, uh, I did, uh, I did watch. Um, uh, I always liked when a film stands up. I don't know whether um, you've done this experiment, but I'm. I've started watching films that I kind of thought, well, that was great at the time, uh, but but now it probably it's probably a bit eggy, you know. And I'll tell you what really stands up. Uh, I hope I didn't say it last week. Invasion of the Body Snatchers. Did I say it last week? I don't think so, no. I don't think so. The 70s should... Invasion of the Body Snatchers is impeccable. It's impeccable. It's oh, so okay. It's so frightening. The effects are so gross, even now. <laughs> um, and the kind of... Uh, uh, it'll be very familiar to gender critical people, uh, the experience. Ooh. Of what okay. the main character is it, it right? I'll have to watch it with uh, my horror loving middle middle one. Oh. Um, I also wanted to say uh, that the Queen's Gambit on Netflix. I mean, I've yeah. only watched two episodes, but oh, I'm enjoying that. Really? Oh, I'm, I'm, oh, oh yeah. yes. Oh, yes. Okay. okay. I heard there was a, a bit of weird casting. I think no? me or well, the, the what I what I what I'm enjoying is it's it's good. I mean, there's a little bit of young girls sticking it to to men, um, but you know. Oh no, I don't. I'm okay with that. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, thought, I thought there was a, a trans woman playing a woman or something. I thought that was that was what I uh, took from the criticism that someone. Uh, um, I think there is, but yeah. I, I, you know, I don't. I always Actually, think that, that, that didn't bother me um, particularly. I think I think the Queen's Gambit. I think it's I think it's good. I think it's uh, yeah. it's anyway. I mean, I'll, I'll come back after I'll come back next week after I've probably binge watched the Who lot before the Crown restarts. Um, but you know, uh, so far so good. Yeah, yeah. I just don't like actresses having their places taken by male actors. I don't, uh, <laughs> I don't think it's right. Um, all right. Well, uh, that was uh, uh, fun. Uh, t uh, tomorrow we might be living in a completely new world. So. Uh, Let's let's hope so. Anyway. Oh um, God, I hope so. I hope so. And um, yeah, thank you again for joining joining us. And see you next week, everyone. And we'll see you all next week. All right, bye okay. everyone. Bye. Cheers, guys. <laughs>